everyone welcome back to today's video schloss and this is the groove tube academy so in today's video we're going to be covering groove pages a complete beginner's guide and this is working with elements this time so you'll have noticed in the last few videos we've been going through all the different options within the pages so if you haven't seen them go back and watch them and it will take you through step by step on what you're going to have to do to get a page or a website up and running so uh, we spoke about putting our block in before so we're going to put another block in so again we've highlighted blocks and it'll say blocks and this time we're going to go into wireframes and i'm just going to select an empty block to work with so i'm going to drag in um uh this is what's called a two by two block and again you just keep a hold of it and you'll see where it wants to drop it i don't want to put it above the header or the navigator i want to put it below it so i'm just going to drop it in there and it will show you that it's um an empty container I'm just going to move myself back over there. It's probably easier for you to see. Right, so today we want to talk about elements. So these, if you remember rightly, let's move this up so you can see the bottom of the navigation bar because we spoke about highlighting what it is you've actually clicked on. So we spoke about the body of your page and then we spoke about putting blocks within that page. And let me just highlight the block, as you can see, the body then the block. And now we want to put things in which are called containers. So as you can see, I popped in a block that had a couple of empty containers in it. Now, the way you can see this is if you want to fiddle around, is just click one of the containers. Now, let's try and understand the way we're building it out because it'll make it a lot easier in the future. So you've got your body, which was the blank page, basically. You've got the block that we put in. Now, within that block, there was a container, which is this. Now the layout of that container is two by two. So you've got a container over here and a container over here that are both empty at the moment. And at the moment I've selected a container. So basically these things can hold lots of elements depending on whatever that element it's gonna be. And we're gonna play around with that just now. So hopefully that isn't too confusing for you, but I'm just trying to, um, explain the structure of it of a website or a page to make it easier when you're um, editing it. So let's go into the elements tab and we'll have a little look at what's under here. So we, we briefly explained this before, but <clears throat> excuse me. So we've got layouts. So there's different layouts here. Now, all these are, are um, basically different columns. So instead of putting that empty block in, I could have just put in a two column. Now, I'll just do this um, again, and I'll show you it putting it down there. So as you can see, I've just dragged in another one, and now it's got a two by two layout with two empty containers that I can put any information in there. And again, that's the same if you want three, four, five, um, a card, um, which is, I'll just drag it in and I'll show you, which will be something with a, like an image in it, and then a bit of information below it, and these are all you can basically um, change these all up to your heart's content, card header, tab section. The best thing to do, guys, is just play about with it. Drag everything in, drag it about back out again. You know how to delete things. You know how to move things up and down now, move them around the page. Just play around with it. And that's the easiest and quickest way to get to know how it all works. Now, for example, we have um, a text area here. So just say we wanted to drop text into this empty container, we would select it and we drag it over and we'd wait until it's filled out this empty container and then we'd let it go. So we've popped a, a heading in there and say we wanted to put in a paragraph now, we wanted to explain something about what it is that we're, um, we've got on this page. You just um, click it in below and once you're happy with it is, you let that go and it will just put in um, any old text in there for you so that you know what you've done and you can change that as you go along. Now there's different options here within the text format depending on what you want to do. You might want to put an icon with um, a title and a paragraph, or you might want to put something in um, quotes if you're doing like a testimonial, but we'll keep it nice and simple at the moment. Uh, the lists are really good if you want to explain things as like uh, bullet points, perhaps you want to drag one of them in. So say we've got a heading and a bit of text, and in the next one we're going to do a, a regular list. And we'll drop this in uh, below. So this is a regular list item. And um, we can have bullet points down here. Now, buttons, these are basically just things that might have a call to action within them. So say, um, it could say something like, if you want to find out a bit more about us, click this button here, and they'll click that button, and perhaps it would take them to the About Us page. So let's stick a, 
a solid button in there and we can stick that over here and as you can see she drag things in a little um i'll show you in a second let's do media so see um they've got round image you've got youtube videos you've got vimeos you've got wistia whatever it may be and um, let's take an image and we'll stick that above the button so what i was explaining before is when you're you're holding the image or the button whatever it is you'll get this highlighted box around the container that you're trying to pop it in and you can move it around until you're happy i'm happy with that there and then it'll drop it in for you and then you can start playing around with it within that container you've also got forms now um Forms are things that we can use um, a bit further down the path, but basically um, you can put details in here. So to ask for names, email addresses, whatever it may be, people fill it in and you can capture those details. But we can come back to that another time. E-commerce, again, that's um, for another video. But if that's if you wanted to sell things online, you can uh, drag things in, um, drag these tiles in and you can have actual full blown uh, checkouts, which take payments and everything. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, devices these are just um little things you can drag into I wanted to show you on I'll drag it into this container here below the button and then that would just be like a, a picture of a, a desktop or whatever and you could drag an image in there if you like uh, Google Maps if you wanted to display your business on a map you can drag that in code embed these are basically a bit more advanced but again I've got some videos on that and um, sometimes you need to use it for your uh, Groove mail account at the moment and you basically drag that and you put a little bit of code in and then the whatever it is you're trying to do uh, magically appears on your page you can have uh, countdown timers if you want to um, basically get people to do something in a certain amount of time progress bars if it's um, series of pages they're working through you can show them the progress and then we had navigation bars which we uh, covered briefly in the blocks and these are just different layouts that you can have with your logo with um, a few links and perhaps maybe your social accounts so twitter or facebook whatever that may be these are actually great to put in the bottom of your pages um, or your website so if i drag this down to the bottom somewhere there we go and put that in and basically you could have um your privacy policy page or your terms of service and um, if you're you're doing uh, affiliates you you'll need to have a disclaimer in there that you collect people's names and you earn a small commission but again i can cover that in other videos but these this is good to put this here and then you can have like this one as terms of service this one privacy whatever and then links to, to your social um, pages Integrations, this is the last one in the elements. Now, the, let me just show you what's down here at the moment. They're adding ones all the time, but basically if you collected emails, you might not do that at this point, but say you had an Aweber account, although you do get a Groove Mail with uh, the free account, you can basically drag these integrations within the page. And if somebody was to fill their details in, it would automatically send that information to your um, Aweber account or, your active campaign to collect your emails now as this product develops and um, i do have aweber and another um, software that's not listed here but the idea for me will be to integrate everything under groove once it's out of beta which you can see it's still in beta as we do this video um, and then there'll be no no need for me to use any of these integrations but the great thing is it's here now if you do have any of these third party integrations for you to get going right away but again if you are brand new to this you probably don't have anything like this at the moment but it was just to highlight what they are on the page but you don't need to worry about them just yet so as you can see you know you're dragging things in and things are starting to change let me just get get rid of that one so just as a brief um overview you click on it you see where you are you're on the image i'll tell you up here image image and i want to basically go up one um which is this arrow here with a little line at the top and this is selected the next one this is selected the container and then it'll show you what's highlighted and then if you want to delete it which i want to do i'm just going to do that and delete it and again that's taken it off the page remember if you've done something you think oh i didn't want to do that back button and it's back again but i did want to get rid of it because it was ugly so we'll just do that 
Um, so as you can see, you're starting to build out a page here. Um, you've got a, a header, an av bar, um, you've got a heading, you've got information here. You might have lists, you have a couple of images and a bit at the bottom. Obviously, it doesn't look too nice at the moment, but I can show you exactly what you can do and what you can build out um, as you get more familiar with the platform. Now, I'm just, um, yeah, we'll go into some of these elements and, and show you what actually happens when you click on them. So they're all fully customized. Customer, customizable, sorry, easy for me to say. Um, so as you click on here, you can either highlight the text and a little box will pop up and you can change all the uh, defaults there. So if you want to make it bold or italics and strike throughs, underlines, all that sort of thing, change the color and make it a different color and different sizes as well. 16, that didn't actually work. But you can also do that from over here as well. So as you can see, we've highlighted text and we're in the design section. Um, you can change the tra transparency, change the size. It's probably not changing because of the size of the container that's in actually. Um, change the weight, which is what we're doing before, bold. You can change it where it is on the actual box itself, whether you want it in the in the middle, on the left, to the right, letter spacing, the space in between it. So as you can see, you can play around with all these, but you can change everything uh, within there and um, even the background color, you can add a border to uh, even animation. You can have it shake on the screen so it uh, draws your attention to a delay when it shows on the page, the layout, space and size shading. So as you can see, the text is not the only part. You can change the heading as well. So make sure you click that, it'll change the text. And then you'll see it here that it's highlighted the heading section. And we have all the same, um options here you might want to put the heading in the middle for example and um, you can change the um font to something else change the color all that sort of thing let's um, give it a background color blue oh, that's the text color sorry and then background color let me get like that just to show you then it will fill in that box so it's um, fully customizable and then click on, on an image and you'll see that this button here, expert mode, this is just basically all the different options. So if you click that off, it will just give you the basic options, which just neatens it up for you. So these are just things like if you want to change the transparency, any animation delay and, and the size of it, just to make it a lot easier. Or if you want more options, you want to customize it more, you can click that button. And if you were to go into configure here, you can choose image. And then you would uh, upload the image, but I'll just go into free stock and see what there is. Uh, computer, enter that, and then just uh, click any one of these, it doesn't really matter. Click on it, it's uploading, and then once it's uploaded, you select it and you can put it into that image itself. So we're loading up the image and select that. You can update. And remember, as you go along, just periodically, just uh, save things and that'll keep you right. You can even make this clickable as an image. So you could click that and you could change it to a different page within your website, or you could uh, do it for a block. So if you click that and it went down to another block on the page or a URL, you could send them to some other page or a pop-up itself. So that's all customizable. We'll keep it as none at the moment. We're always a slight up update and you can see that it's loaded on the page. Now, again, we spoke in the last one about how you can change um, the, pay, the sorry the image within the page itself, how you can reduce the, the size of it if you wanted to, and you can also do that within spacing and within size itself here and here. Button, click button. Again, it will give you the same options. Just as a reminder, if you wanted to duplicate, you would press that one and it would give you another button right next to it. If you wanted to get rid of it, bin icon. And then if you wanted to go up a section, so this arrow, look what happens down the bottom of the page here. So when I click this, we should go up to container, which we do. So if you ever want to select the element behind whatever it is you selected, this button will help you out loads. So let's just go to button. And um, you can design the button um, any way you like. Let's change the size. Let's do it relative to, sorry, relative to the parent. Then you'll see change in size as we do that. 100% goes right the way across. You can um, now change the color. Let's go background. 
and I'll change it to something else. There we go. And then you can always do a bit of a border and I'll round off the corners a bit. See how I just rounded it off there. Nice, nice round corners. And then we'll go into configure and we can change the text. Um, click me, click me. And then again, this button could go out to another page. Let's say it's going out to page two this time. Um, update and periodically save. And again, we might want to go back and just put that text into the middle um, off the button like that. And then I'll click off that so you can see it. So there you go. So that was an ugly sort of gray boxy button and you can do all sorts of things. In fact, I, I quite like to add shading, which is another option. Um, and it just makes it stand out from the page ever so slightly. So you see that it's just added a slight shading underneath. So it starts to look really, really neat. Um, let's see if I can show you anything else here, guys. No, basically that is it. So as a quick overview, you had your blocks that you put on the page, which is your body, which is here. So you had your body, then your blocks, and you're now putting in um, containers which hold the elements. And the elements are the bits that are going to really start bringing your site together, um, whether it's images, text, um, whatever it may be. And at the end of this, I'll show you a site that I've created totally from scratch. And you can see the kind of thing that you can make. Um, and it doesn't take an awful lot of time once you get up to speed. And of course, there's people to help you like myself and others in the in the in in the academy and, uh, and other places on Facebook. And they might even share their sites with you to get you up and running straight away. If I've got any that you like, please get in touch and um, I'm sure we can organize something. So in the next um, video, we'll talk about um, working with the pages section, which is here and we'll go in a bit more detail with that. So thanks guys. Thanks for uh, sticking with me with that, this one and we'll see you in the next video.